Hello guys, race results in Tuntun Park, race 1, race results in a replace, subscribe my channel, come on. is taking a bit of a pull in the predominantly white jacket, followed then on that one's outside by Iro Michi, Cologne's just uh, been taken back a little bit. Also wide on the track in the two-tone blue colours is Mixed Dream, then up the inside Snap, Crackle, Pop, followed by Dynamic Talent, Maskul is back in the ruck as well, Equion is last but one, and Tufan is your back marker as they make the turn at the top of the track and the uh, lead is with Covert Mission who got to the front uh, with uh, precious little effort so on the outside in second spot last two raw followed then up the inner by the spotlight kid who's now being driven along one step beyond still travels quite well this little quartet have uh, kicked on now from last two raw is up the inside Cologne tries to stay on well inside the final three furlongs they've turned for home and it's Covert Mission that continues to lead to have driven along the last two raw followed then in third by the spotlight kid down the centre of the track one step beyond is trying to get him ahead of steam there then followed by Cologne and who's in so and then from the back snap crackle and pop but down the center of the track it's one step beyond that comes through to take it up one step beyond the leader to on the far side covert mission after that in third last two raw well inside the final furlong they go now and racing up towards the line it's one step beyond who's going further clear it's one step beyond by two or three lengths now and is going to score very easily indeed one step beyond beats into second position the last two raw they were then followed by snap crackle pop and then covert mission yeah, short sure stuff from Connor Planis on One Step Beyond. Gary Moore has trained this horse off the back of a yard switch and a little bit of an absence as well, 130 days to be precise. Number 13, one race in Brady in second, 16, 30, stream 5. Sure is, let's go. Cool. Let life happen also quite slowly away as they make their way through the early stages of Division 1 of the Unibet British Stallion Studs EBF Phillies Novice over essentially a mile and three. And Laisla Mujeres in the pink cap has come, come through to just about lead. Taraf though has got a nice run up the inside from stall one in the yellow colours and disputes at first place at the moment. Coco Royale is a bit wide on the track as they take the first turn. Albany's up the inside. Moogie, the grey horse in the light blue and brown colours, sits in around about fifth spot now. Gap of two then to Let Life happened followed then uh, by La Chicanier. Coco Royale very wide on the track. Deep Dive who was slowly away is last but one and right at the back of the field in the pink and black colours is Alpha Female but La Isla Mujeres with a bit of experience. Uh, well she's got a relatively easy lead here. Goes on by about a length and a half but Taraf who races in second Albany the big white face racing in third then in fourth spot towards the outside Coco Royale then right up the inner Let Life Happen followed then by Moogie Surrey Bell towards the rear of the field taking quite a hold followed by Deep Dive then Alpha female and La Chicanier is just being nudged along for a stride or two as they make their way towards the end of the back straight and the final five and a half furlongs or so. And it's La Isla Mujeres, leads by about a length and a half to Taraf, who's racing in second for Ross Coakley. Then up the inside, Albany, flashy chestnut for Rob Hornby, races well in third. Coco Royale round the outside in fourth. Then Let Life Happen, Moogie's just been shuffled back through the field but still travels okay. Deep Divers made quiet progress, followed by Surrey Bell, last but two. Then Alpha female, last but one, still at the rear of the field is La Chicanier. Canier. They're going to be swinging for home very shortly. Three and a half furlongs just over, left to go. And it's La Isla Mujeres who's been on the sharp end throughout. She continues to lead by about three quarters of a length to Taraf, who's been her travelling companion throughout the race. Then towards the outer, as we look at them, Albany races in third spot, followed then by Coco Royale. Let Life Happens trying to get up the inside, still travelling very strongly as Moogie down the centre of the track. They come to the cutaway with two furlongs left to go. La Isla Mujeres is just uh, drifting towards the centre of the track, but she still leads. Taraf's in second, Coco Royale in third, Deep Divers made interesting progress in the back, but it's La Isla Mujeres who grabbed the initiative early who still leads by about a length and a half as the race inside the closing stages, let life happen in Albany, are absolutely lashing home though, racing up towards the line La Isla Mujeres hangs on and wins tight for second between Albany the far side and let life happen, Taraf finished in fourth and Ross Ryan controls it from the front, it's a strong ride and she holds the hardest number, seven La Isla Mujeres, one race in Malaysia in second, two and third, ten and four. Through the first furlong or so. Race to three in Tim Tim Park, let's go. EBF Phillies novice stakes, and there's a bit of pace on here in the early stages. Loic has gone forward. Flowers look like she might get an easiest lead on paper, but that hasn't quite eventuated. She sits in second, though, the white sleeves. Another beautiful in the red cap racing in third spot, followed by Rosa Chinensis, the hoop jacket, the white sleeves and cap is in fourth. Then a Marbell's Dream, followed by the light blue colours of Grand Providence. Bit of a gap back then to Dorothea Brooke, Lady Bracken is last but one, and the slow starting tier wings has caught up 
possibly indicative of not a desperately fast early pace here. So it's Loic that leads them by a length and a half to Flowers, who's just in behind in second. Another beautiful now in the hands of Trevor Whelan races in third spot. Rosa Chinensis is in fourth. A Marbell's Dream is in fifth up the inside. Sheepskin Nosebound there of Grand Providence towards the outer. Then Dorothea Brooke, followed by the very pale jacket of Lady Bracken. And Tio Wings are still at the back of the field. Making their way past the halfway point over on the back straight. There they're inside the final six furlongs. And it's Loic who continues to lead to Flowers, who's been in the slipstream throughout. Then up the inside, another beautiful in the red and white colours, followed then by Rosa Chinensis, Luke Morris poised aboard that one. Then a Marbell's Dream up the inside. Grand Providence just gets a little bit closer and is travelling quite nicely. There then followed by Dorothea Brooke up the inside of Lady Bracken and still at the rear of the field, Tio Wings, as they start to make the turn at the top of the track. Three and a half furlongs left to go. Loic's been on the sharp end throughout, now just being nudged along. Similar comments could apply to Flowers, though, who's also the recipient of a fairly vigorous ride. Another beautiful's up the inside. Rosa Chinensis turns rather wide, is angling for a run, but still goes very well. Then Grand Providence, the sheepskin nose band who's all dressed up with nowhere to go at the moment down towards the final two furlongs and the cutaway and it's Rosa Chinensis that now just about goes on to the big outsider another beautiful who's run a good race win lose or draw here Grand Providence the far side they're now well on from Flowers and Dorothea Brooke down towards the final furlong they go another beautiful a tough nut to crack here for Rosa Chinensis and Grand Providence over on the far side as well and it's Grand Providence who's now really kicking in the turbo and goes on by a length length and a half make that two and racing up towards the line a nice performance in the end Grand Providence has been Rosa Chinensis, another beautiful, a big run in third. Long gap back to Flowers, who finished in fourth. All came together way well in the dark green and beige colours and has bagged the lead ex exigency is also prominent there in the red and white colours. Towards the outside, Ikari looks to push on into a prominent position but is in danger of taking the turn wide. Four a day is reefing and tearing in fourth spot there. Then up the inside, Rochambeau, followed then by Aga Panther and Madame Fenella is at the rear of the field as they make their way through the first couple of furlongs. Hello me, it is that leads to in second position on the outside, Ikari, followed then up the inside by exigency. Then in fourth spot, four a day is settled better, makes a bit of progress, followed then by Rochambeau in the green jacket. The black jacket of Madame Fenella is just creeping a little bit closer. Aga Panther turned three wide. Inside the final three furlongs they go. Hello Me has been on the sharp end throughout and she still goes pretty strongly. Out in front by about three lengths to Exigency, who's now just gone towards the centre of the track. Rochambeau tries to stay on. Madame Fenella continues to make progress from the back of the field. Down towards the final furlong they go. And it's Hello Me that leads by about a length and a half to Rochambeau. Madame Fenella is in third. Exigency in fourth. Deep inside the final furlong now. Hello Me and Daniel Muscat thus far. They've dominated the contest and they still lead by an and a half as they race up towards the line. Hello me from pillar to post. Madame Finello was second. Rochambeau finished in third. Long gap back to four a day who finished in fourth. Well, it'd been a while since uh, Hello Me had got ahead in front, but she looked like she was going back in the right direction and she scores and leads from pillar to post under Danny Muscat. Second place home was Madame Fenella and a bunch finish with Rochambeau after. wide gate as they make their way through the early stages of the more price boost races at Unibet Handicap over the six furlongs and it's Ormalulu that leads but now Tawala rushing across as well in the yellow jacket followed by Full Prime in the green colours and then Holy Fire is up the inside rail now just tackled and passed by Dubai Dawn. There then followed by Beelzebub the white cap of my lens towards the rear of the field with Frankie Dettori up followed then by Harry's Halo who's wide then the colour change of Hiatus followed then by Grenham Bay who's last but one and Afterlife is at the rear of the field Field. Starting to make the turn for home. Three furlongs left to go. Tawala out in front at the moment by about a length to a poised to full prime racing in second. Ormalulu, the maroon cap towards the far side. Now just getting a wriggle on is Dubai Dawn. Uh, once it needs a gap to appear is Holy Fire. Beelzebub has sluiced through the field into a good position as well. Inside the final two furlongs they go. Tawala and Ormalulu. Then between the pair, Holy Fire. They've still got plenty left. Followed then down the centre of the track by full prime. Then Beelzebub and Myland and Frankie over on the far side as well. Plenty of chances as they go inside the closing stages. Tawala finding a bit more to Holy Fire. And it's Tawala from a wide gate who got across and goes on to win. Tawala beats Holy Fire. Omolulu was third. Fourth horse home, Beelzebub. A 1-2 for the Charlie Fellows team. And Tawala holds off Holy Fire. Uh, quite a busy enough finish. But Tawala always at the front end. Is uh, able to 
land this hand quicker as well as they make their way through the early stages of the uni bet three uni boosts per day easy for me to say handicap over the seven furlongs and barging through has got to the front leads in the blue colors to tiempo star who's racing in second good day is taking a bit of a pull there in third in the white and maroon colors zero carbon the red cap the green colors also pulling quite hard shigar has settled slightly better in the two-tone blue mckean is around the outside of the purple of windsor pass then up the inside blue flame in the red cap for Followed then by the maroon of Whispering Song. Towards the rear of the field, Billy Mill is in the dark blue and pink colours. Moai towards the back and Lunar Space is the back marker as they go inside the final three and a half. And it's barging through who got to the front early, leading them at the moment to Good Day, who's had a nice run round just on the shoulder in second. Then up the inside, we've got Tiempo Star, the striped jacket, followed by Shigar, the two-tone blue. McKean has been wide throughout but has got racing room. Zero Carbon now looking to try and get through. There then followed by Windsor Pass and the rest. Down towards the final two furlongs. Marching through the leader. Tempo star the far side. Good day down the centre of the track. Zero carbon burrowing through. Then Shigar and Windsor pass down towards the final furlong. They go. Barging through, still holding the call. Zero carbon. And on the far side, Tempo star. Tempo star and zero carbon. These two have paired off as they race up towards the line. Zero carbon, the near side. Tempo star the far to the line. Zero carbon beats Tempo star. Barging through was third. Shigar to the fourth. Oh, that was a tight finish, but Zero Carbon just beats Tiempo Star. We're heading back to Limerick. They've caught up some time. We're going to go straight over to commentary with Jerry Hannon. Made by Platinum Prince in the Unibet Support Safe Gambling Handicap and Ultimate Race of the Night over the 11 furlongs, the mile and three. And Zoffany Portrait it is in the green and red colours who comes through the lead to Meisterzinger, the orange cap. How hard can it be? Has just compassed Meisterzinger now into second spot. Then up the inside, Alice Kitty with the, uh, the red cap there and the sheepskin moustache and sideburns. There then followed by Analytics, the purple jacket. Lightning Attack, the green colours, is very wide on the track. Followed then by Platinum Prince, who's racing towards the of the field, as indeed is Imperial Cult. Amasine is last but one, and Liverlot, the orange cap, is at the rear of the field. Inside the final mile, they go, and out in front, it's Sophony Portrait, who leads by about three quarters of a length. To how hard can it be? The orange cap of Meister Zinger is a further length down in third. Right round the outside is Lightning Attack, but he's had a tough trip. There, then followed by the purple colours of Analytics, Alice Kitty up the inside of Platinum Prince. Then towards the rear of the field, Amazine, still towards the back, is Imperial. Imperial Colt and right at the back of the field is Liverlot. So they're inside the final three quarters of a mile now. Uh, the two tone green of Lightning Attack has almost pulled itself to the front here. Zoffany Portrait got to the front pretty early. These two at the head of affairs, followed then by the grey. How hard can it be? Meister Zing has had a charmed run round at the inside there in the orange cap. Right round the outer is Platinum Prince, who's three wide at the turn. There then followed by Analytics right at the inside red is Alice Kitty. Then Amasine, Imperial Colt and Liverlot has been the back marker just about throughout and continues to be. So inside the final half mile they go, and it's the red caps off any portrait to the very wide lightning attack. In between the pair lobbing along, how hard can it be? Meister Zinger has hooked the rail all the way through. There, then followed on the outside by Platinum Prince, who's also had a tough trip. Then Analytics followed then by Amazine. Then Alice Kitty up the inside, followed by Imperial Colt, and at the back of the field is Liverlot. Down towards the final two and a half furlongs they go, and still travelling strongly. How hard can it be? Comes through to take it up. It's opened up beautifully though for Meister Zinger over on the far side. How hard Hard can it be? Meister Zinger, then Platinum Prince down the centre of the track, followed then in fourth by Alice Kitty, down towards the final furlong they go, and it's Meister Zinger who's lengthening now, how hard can it be? Is trying hard, but needs to find a couple of lengths and find them quickly, but racing deep inside the final half furlong, Meister Zinger had a lovely run through, and has run one very convincingly indeed Imperial Colt got up for second they were then followed in third by how hard can it be tight for fourth between Platinum Prince and Liverlot well, there we are. Meister Zinger has just enhanced what is already a pretty good profile. In fact, I'll go a bit better than that. A very good profile. Acting for the racing team. B.com handicap over almost two miles, the longest race of the night. And they're sorting themselves out into their early formation. Where's...
Tom got away well. So too did Devizes, though. The white cap, the diamond jacket, Huskari is also prominent. Aristocrat wants to get in and lead as they go around the bend. And the bend has more or less uh, managed to sort that out, Rab Havlin. He's already get, got one in a lovely position tonight, and he might have done the same with Aristocrat. Leads by about a length. The Cheng Gong in the light-coloured jacket who races in second. Huskari, the grey, is in third. Then Devizes in fourth, followed by the yellow cap of Where's Tom. Then so far, so good in the red and grey colours. Red and white of La Belle V, followed then by Daris in the dark blue and maroon colours. There then followed by Cinzento, tying the knot towards the rear of the field, just nudged along for a stride or two. Then the governor, and at the back of the field in the uh, sheepskin cheek pieces and the noseband is hope for the best. So they're making their way down the straight, still with well over a circuit to go, and it's Aristocrat who grabbed the lead early and is out in front to the tune of a length and a half. The Chen Gong, who races in second, Oscari is in third. Then Devizes in fourth, followed then by Where's Tom? The yellow cap racing in fifth, then so far so good, is in sixth, La Belle V. Similar colours, uh, but uh, more uh, red on the body and white sleeves there, uh, racing in uh, around about eighth position. There then followed by Daris and then Cinzento up the inside rail, followed by tying the knot and the governor. And just a little bit detached now at the rear of the field is hope for the best. So they're making the turn at the bottom of the track, and it's Aristocrat who will take them to more or less the final mile out in front now by a couple of lengths. Uh, and uh, is uh, leading to right up the inside with Scari. Chen Gong just nudged along for a stride or two there to get into uh, an even more prominent position than he already was. There then followed by Devizes and then right up the inside rail where's Tom who saved all the ground and travels nicely. Bit of a gap back then of a length and a half to so far so good and Label V length back to Daris followed then up the inside by Cinzento has made a place or two then tying in the knot the governor is in the mostly blue jacket and the mostly purple jacket at the rear of the field is hope for the best. Inside the final three quarters of a mile they go, and Aristocrat has been on the sharp end throughout. Cheng Gong, having been nudged along when they went around the bottom bend, is now uh, being driven along a lot more vigorously. Uskari still travels very well, the purple colours, the grey. Then right up the inside, where's Tom is travelling quite nicely. Uh, Daris is now being pulled out from a run towards the rear of the field, uh, was threatening to come rather wide there. So far, so good, is wide on the track. Cinzento tries to creep a little bit closer. One making a bit of headway from the back is the governor in the blue colours. Tying the knot has been off the bridle for quite some time and that one's beginning to struggle. Then hope for the best and Cheng Gong's gone out like a light. Down towards the final three and a half furlongs they go. They're taking the turn at the top of the track and it's Aristocrat who continues to lead to Ascari racing in second spot. La Belle V now up the inside. Followed then by Where's Tom who's just moved off that rail to try and get a run. Devizes are still very much there as well. Peeled out for a run. Then Chin Zento and then after that uh, trying to get a little bit going now is uh, the governor. Down towards the closing stage as they come, two furlongs left to go Devizes down the centre of the track to Ascari, Aristocrat has given up the lead then La Belle V, Cinzento over on the far side, one of the outsiders down towards the final furlong they come it's Devizes to Cinzento, then La Belle V also down the centre of the track, where's Tom but racing towards the final half furlong Cinzento just about grabbed the lead, not much more from Devizes, La Belle V is staying on but up towards the line, Cinzento has beaten La Belle V, followed in third by Devizes, fourth or so was staying on, so far, so good Good. Yeah, I'd like to be a big price winner of our last race, Cinzento. Has